Well, 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 well. Voy a reír, voy a bailar, vivir mi vida, la, 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 la. Voy a reír, voy a abrazar, vivir mi vida, la, 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 la. Maybe you, know, you already know this song, so if you know it, just sing along with me. Uh, I'm very glad that you are joining us, uh, that you're here with this webinar, A Song is a Lesson. Voy a reír, voy a bailar, vivir mi vida, la, 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 la. Voy a reír, voy a gozar, vivir mi vida, la, 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 la. <laughs> It's a beautiful song by Mark Anthony. Hello and welcome to my webinar. A song is a lesson. My name is Jose Rodriguez. Me llamo Jose Rodriguez. And I have to switch here to see if you are here. There are some participants here, about 55. You are all warmly and heartily welcome. Um, so there is somebody who has uh, written something to chat around. So maybe, uh, maybe we can agree um, uh, that I am concentrated in just um, uh, sing and teach you and tell you something about my method a song is a lesson learn a language with music learn a language with songs so maybe i'm going to sing some um some more uh oops, excuse me uh, maybe i'm going to sing some more uh, sentences about from from this song Voy a reír, voy a bailar. I'm not only going to sing along uh, the, 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 the whole webinar along, but I want to tell you something about what I'm doing. As I already said, my name is Jose Rodriguez, me llamo Jose Rodriguez, and I have been uh, working out this method, learn a language with songs. Let me see. No, there is nobody uh, talking to me, so I'm going to continue. Okay, to... Okay, I know what it is. Uh, this, it's my mobile that's still on. Uh, so, uh, a song is a lesson. A song consists, well, I, I'm going to tell you later. Um, we, we have this junction between songs and stories, words and tones, melodies and phrases, beats and accents, expressions and tensions, rhymes and rhythms, old but good music recalling memories leading us to old and ancient times. I grew up in Germany where I learned almost everything that I've learned in my life. With one exception, my mother tongue is Spanish, which I've acquired with my family. That is, with my parents and my brothers and my sister. If I'm a little bit too fast, excuse me, because I'm trying to put all what I usually put in one hour into this 30 minutes. So at the end of the video of the webinar, uh, you have the possibility to join me uh, at another um, Zoom meeting where we can talk to another and, 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 and so that I can answer some questions. Excuse me, I have to switch on my uh, switch off my mobile because it's still um, uh, so, so because it's still uh, ringing. Okay, I'm continue. Um, I can't help it. I have always been crazy about languages and music. For the past two years, I've been uploading video, videos with lessons to learn English with songs addressed to the Spanish-speaking people. Aprender inglés con canciones. So I am bilingual. I grew up in Germany. I learned both languages, Spanish and German. When I went to school, I learned English and French so that I can speak almost uh, some languages. Okay. 
uh, these are people, the people who visit my video channel, my YouTube channel, these are people from all around the world who speak Spanish and want to learn English, improve their pronunciation, or just have fun learning something new. I also teach German, English and French with songs, as I already mentioned. My aim is to wake your emotions. Thus, you will learn languages easily, automatically and with much care. You might already have read my webinar's description. Just in case you haven't, here we are. Learning a foreign language is an emotional process where music becomes a fantastic basis. And this is true. And this is the feedback I'm getting from all the people who write comments uh, below my videos that I uh, load up to you, my YouTube channel. It's incredible. I did not believe the impact that it's um, having or doing um, since I started to, um, yeah, to, to live this idea of um, learn a language with songs. Songs not only help you learn new vocabulary, grammar and phrases, but to mainly build a passionate relationship with the language and the culture, because music is something very, very, very emotional. So, uh, in my webinar description, you have read, let your heart learn with your brain. And this is exactly what's happening when you deal with music, with songs. I started with two videos teaching English with the songs. Imagine, you know the song? Imagine this, no heaven, and so on, by John Lennon and Father and Son by Cat Stevens, which I uploaded in August and September 2019. Um, after a couple of weeks, they caught so much attention that the number of my YouTube channel subscribers almost exploded, at least for me, because I started with 1,000 um, subscribers in um, summer 2019. And within, within six months, it grew to the number of 10,000 and in five months from 10,000 to 100,000 by the summer of 2020. Incredible. Today, my YouTube channel has more than 170,000 subscribers and is continually growing and growing. Why do I say this? Because I want to show you how big and how great I am. No, because it shows the need, it shows uh, the, the wish of the people to have something different to learn the language. They are really hungry. They are really starving to have something different uh, with which they can uh, learn a language with ease, with fun, with emotion, with melody, with uh, memories, etc. So this is what's happening, what has happened. So I have a question. What, what is the best method to learn a language? I am convinced that the best method to learn a language is to be born into a family that speaks the language. We call this acquisition rather than learning. Of course, this situation is fun when you're a baby and keep growing and developing until you're finally an, an adult person. Unfortunately, we forget too easy how much it has cost us when we, when we were children to learn what we know today when we are adults. As, and as children, we try to do what we see and what we hear around us. Nobody and nothing seems to stop us from achieving it until we finally can stand and walk. It is known that 300 words as a basic vocabulary are enough to have a conversation. Uh, maybe you are already thinking where I'm going to. I'm going to setting up a mental, uh, a, a mental state. The mindset has to be prepared in advance because if you allow yourself that you can learn something, even if you're old, if you think you are too old or you don't have a talent or if you are afraid. So the very first thing with me is to uh, say hello to your fears and um, bow before them and say, you have accompanied my life until now. And so you are fired. <laughs> my. Uh, uh, my beliefs that I cannot or I'm not able. How much do you think you can learn with a song? 10, 20, 50, 70 or 100 words? Well, today's song, Living My Life, it's, um, it's a very, very first translation of this song called Vivir Mi Vida from, by Mark Anthony. It's beautiful and easy. It's funny too. Nevertheless, in this song, 26 verbs appear among a total of 68 different words. So if you dedicate yourself to, uh, to this song, so you will be able to learn within an hour, uh, 68 
words and 26 verbs and then I will explain to you something more about a little grammar or do some exercises for pronunciation, rhythmic exercises, melodic exercises, singing. Well, you don't have to sing, but just to be active. You have to be active. You have to talk just that your mouth and your muscles in your mouth, your tongue, everything you chin gets used to what's new now. In my series, A Song is a Lesson videos, one can learn more than 1,300 words. I have uploaded a couple of videos in my YouTube channel on my YouTube channel. And um, if you count all the words together, you have a vocabulary of 1,300 words. If we dedicated ourselves only to all of the Beatles songs, we would reach more than 3,000 words. It's incredible because these are beautiful melodies and you keep singing and singing and singing and you memorize them. You memorize them because you are connected emotionally and you memorize them because the melody, the rhythm, drives you to memorize it psychologically and physically, your body and your mind. Okay, the question is, can you really learn a language with songs? Well, nobody spends a day singing and less singing dialogues like they do in an opera, and so on. But this is true. Uh, what, what, then what are the learn a language with songs methods advantages? Well, a song is a told story with, with melody, harmony, rhythm, and rhymes. A song has at least one catchy part. Well, this is the catchy part that you keep on singing and singing along with the whole song, and you dance and you sing to it. So you subconsciously you you you, you sing this part and you memorize it, even if you don't understand it. Wow, what what a rich uh, what a richness it could be if you understood everything in a language in Spanish. So this is what we are doing. We are doing the other other way around. We are uh, talking in English because this webinar is on one hand dedicated to people like you who speak English or even this was a surprise when I started. I got a lot of messages. Uh, telling me that people were able to learn Spanish through my videos titled Learn English with Song. Why? Because they, were, they are English songs, but I explained them to a Spanish audience in Spanish. So people caught the English part and could transmit it, transpose it, to the Spanish vocabulary that I'm talking. So it's possible to learn vice versa, to learn a Spanish song as a English native and to learn English if you don't speak English and you speak just Spanish or another language. So um, we may call it a trigger or a hook. This is this fragment that we memorize more than the rest of the song. Subconsciously, we sing or whisper it. Sometimes we just mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so and it keeps like like a mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like some, like a stalker. We say in Germany, like something somewhat that is following us, following us the whole way around. A song is made of some text with or with or without rhymes, a melody, some harmonies and rhythms. It produces an emotional impact on the listener. What one has learned through an experience by listening and singing will be memorized much better than if it just was read without affection or emotion. It is, so to say, effective learning via the emotional experience. It's an emotional experience, and this is the best, the best, uh, the best condition to learn something, to do your own experience. I am sure you too might have some melodies that have the power to kidnap you in an instant to the moment of your remembrance with all your senses. Oh, I know about these songs when I had my first kiss with a beautiful girl and, you know, this melody. When I, when I hear this melody, it kidnaps me to this time, 19 and 74, and I'm there in this uh, dancing room. Unbelievable. With your inner eye, you can see yourself in the very moment and time of experience. Instantly, you perceive yourself as being connected to all the sounds and the feelings you felt in that recalled memory. And possibly, you might also begin to taste 
mm, the flavors and smell the smells of that magical moment or maybe <clears throat> not so magical it depends on the experience so that's what this sentence means exactly let your heart learn with your brain we will look into this learning method with an example of the Spanish language. Let's first summarize what is essential to learn a language with songs or to utilize them to learn in an easy, funny and effective way. As I already mentioned, the song I have chosen for the webinar today is Vivir Mi Vida by Mark Anthony. It is pretty easy and has many repeating parts, which is excellent to learn. First, the first step is to listen intensively to the song on and on and on and on. Next, step two, while listening to the song, try to pick up any word or phrase that might sound familiar to you or you already know and understand. Third, have fun listening, moving your body or even dancing to the song, dancing along with any part of the song or with the whole song if possible. Oh, from number three to number five, that's excellent. Get the lyrics to read and sing along with and while you're listening to the song. Six or five, uh, five, try to get a translation of the song. An online Google Lyrics translation should be a good starting point, but keep in mind that some translations might, might be weird. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it's uh, been one point less. Doing so is quite helpful for the very first steps. And here I am to walk you through this song. Let me see, it's this number. Uh, the video clip starts with Mark Anthony speaking. I have spoken so much that I just don't want to. Um... Me preguntan cuál es tu legado. Shall I uh, talk it? I have talked so much by now. I think I should skip it and just start with. Um, you know, we can learn of everything that. Um, okay, we, uh, that everything that uh, gets to us. Through, through this music. But now let's start with the music. Voy a reír, voy a bailar. invite my audience to sing along with me. Voy a reír, voy a bailar, vivir mi vida, la 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 la. That's very easy. Voy a reír, voy a bailar, vivir mi vida, la 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 la. What does it mean? Voy a reír, voy a bailar. Repeat it. Speak along with me. Talk. Uh, just let your mouth just imitate me. Voy a reír, voy a bailar. I'm going to love or I'll love. I'm going to dance or I'll dance. This is what is uh, the, the meaning of this uh, sentence. Voy a reír. Vivir mi vida. La, 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 la. Live my life. Well, vivir mi vida is just two, uh, three words. Live my life. Voy a reír. I'm going to love or I love. We, we, we use the same, almost the same way to build the future tense when we say uh, the, the near future tense. I'm going to. I'm going. I have the intention to do something. I'm going to love. I'm going to walk. I'm going to speak. I'm going to play piano. Voy a. Voy means going. I'm going. Well, uh, the Spanish language doesn't use so many pronouns because the conjugation is so clear that we almost don't need, um, we, we don't really need uh, the, uh, the pronouns. It, it's enough to say boy because it's clear. It's me. It's me who is walking or who, who is going. Voy a bailar. Voy a bailar. Voy a bailar. Excuse me, voy a reír, voy a bailar. Vivir mi vida, la, 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 la. I'm going to live. I will live my life. I want to live my life, la, 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 la. Okay, then the second sentence says, Voy a reír, voy a gozar. And here we are in a very, very, very big community of Spanish-speaking people. There are, as you may guess, a lot of accents. So I don't know how my, how, how my accent sounds. I, I, it could, could be, I'm certain, that it sounds really German because I grew up in Germany. I went to, to high school in Germany and, and where I studied English. Um, and also through singing many, 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 many English 
songs. Voy a reír, voy a gozar. In Spain, you would, you would say this, gozar. In uh, South America um, and in South Spain, uh, they always um, change, they, they, they switch the sound of the, uh, and they say gozar, gozar. It's okay. I don't care. It, it's okay if you pronounce it both. If you can speak it gozar, it's okay. If not, if you want to say gozar, it's okay because the most important thing in language is that we understand each other, that we can communicate to to, to transmit the idea of what we want to say. Okay, um, then we come to the first verse. A veces llega la lluvia para limpiar las heridas. A veces solo una gota para meter la sequía. Okay, I want to repeat it. A veces llega la lluvia para limpiar las heridas. And I want to let you know what this means. A veces llega la lluvia para limpiar las heridas. Excuse me I'm, if I'm so fast because we almost, we, we just have six, six minutes and I wanted to tell you so many things about this song. So I realized there is a lot of to, a lot of to talk about this method, but Better than to talk about it is just to um, jump into it and, and follow me um, and, and, and sing along with me and listening to, to what I'm explaining step by step. A veces llega la lluvia para limpiar las heridas. A veces llega la lluvia para limpiar las heridas. The most important thing, as already mentioned, is speak along with me. Repeat it. Sing along with me. A veces llega la lluvia. Sometimes the rain comes to clean the wounds. A veces, sometimes, llega, comes, arrives. La lluvia, the rain, para limpiar, to clean, las heridas, the wounds. Another advantage with the video is that you can replay and replay and replay it as many times as you want to. Verse 1. A veces llega la lluvia, a veces llega la lluvia, para limpiar las heridas, a veces solo una gota, puede entrar la sequía. Ay, ay. And then we have again this, um, the second part, a veces solo una gota puede vencer la sequía. Sometimes only a drop can beat the drought. Sometimes only a drop can beat the drought. A veces, again, sometimes. Solo una gota. Solo, single or solo. I'm going to do a solo on my piano. I'm going to play alone. Only one. Only a drop. Only one drop. Puede vencer. Vencer can beat, overcome, defeat, win, conquer. La sequía, the drought. So, um, I have to almost finish and to jump a lot of things that I would have liked to um, show you, would have, liked, uh, would have showed you today if we had more time. But maybe this is our first meeting and I'm very glad you have joined this webinar and I want to give you some informations about, um, excuse me, about um, what, um, what you can do to, to, to stay in connection, uh, get, can stay in, uh, connected with me. First of all, thank you for being here. Here you can see some uh, links that I have prepared to you. I'm going to uh, load them in um, the, the chat room. Uh, and I hope it works now. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to give you... Okay, the, this, this didn't work. Okay. Just a minute. I'm going to um, copy and paste it because there are so many. Okay, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Okay, so there are a lot, but anyhow, just 
find what you want to find and I would be very glad um, if you oops it doesn't work it doesn't work it doesn't work so I don't know why I don't know why um, okay let me see maybe it's too much information so now um, okay one thing should work if you if you um, if you enter my newsletter then certainly I can send you all these links and all the information I'm so sorry that this did not work I don't know why I'm going to give you some more links well I think I, I think they are enough but uh, if you want to stay a, a, around with me I'm going to upload now the link to the zoom session we can do after this official part of the webinar okay and here we are uh, with um, with the link so in the chat room you have uh, you can see uh, the link to it and um, yeah and uh, let me see just a minute I have to go back to um, to this yeah okay so nothing more to say the time is over I'm very glad you're here if you want to get in touch with me through my newsletter here I have uh, created a shortcut a bitly shortcut bit.ly slash asial underscore nl uh, asial stays it means a song is a lesson nl stays for news newsletter so okay nothing more to say if you want to get in touch with stay uh, stay uh, with a question and answer session right now you may click this um, other um, other link zoom underscore expo underscore axial which means the same so okay this is it a song is a lesson and i want to finish with <laughs> Thank you very much.